Communication. It comes in many forms, and for Samford's Communication Sciences and Disorders Department, this trip to Brookdale Senior Living Community is an important one. When we talk about working with older patients, one of the things that we know is that we want to keep them not only from you know, just a physical standpoint, as active as they can be, but we want them to be able to be communicative for as long as they can be. So that takes a certain skill. Our students are having the opportunity today to be able to kind of practice some of those skills and learn what that looks like. As part of the visit, students are helping those that are military veterans write letters to current servicemen and women. They're also gaining valuable experience. It's important to be patient and if they don't hear you the first time, have patience to repeat it again if you have to, or if they don't understand, have patience to clarify. So just being patient and being willing to listen is really important and I think that they'll really appreciate our patients as a profession. It's one thing if you have a, like a case study out in front of you or whatever it may be, but it's a whole nother thing to be able to sit beside whoever you're working with and talk to them and um, develop that rapport with them and have that personal relationship with them. And that's one of the biggest blessings to me is being able to experience that with them in these service projects, that real life connection that you can only have here. And these students will come in contact with a wide variety of people from very young children to adults like these. It's really great for us to get the experience um, to have service events like the Bell Center like we did or, or last year um, with children and then things like this where we can get experience talking to older people um, because as speech pathologists um, you may work in different um, age ranges so it's, it's great experience. Visits like this will soon be an everyday occurrence in their profession, one that all these students share a passion for. Students in communication sciences and disorders truly have a calling. I do believe that they have a calling to be able to serve people. I have um, a passion for communication. Um, I just think it's an essential aspect to our lives. It, it um, really binds us as humans and I've always wanted to find a career that I could um, help people with and um, also integrate that communication passion that I have and so speech pathology does just that um, so it's just an exciting it's a diverse a dynamic field and something that I really hope um, to be able to go into. Brad Radisi, Samford University.